I just graduated this past summer from my chief residency at UNC um, and just started here. So it's been about uh, almost two months uh, that I've been the pediatric neurosurgery fellow here at Boston Children's. Um, and that's been a really, it's been a really intense experience, but it's been a lot of fun as well. And, uh, you know, I've been looking forward to that for a while. So I think it's, it's been a really great experience. Yeah, at what point in your neurosurgery residency training that you decided that you wanted to go into pediatric neurosurgery? Did you always know you wanted to do pediatrics? Kind of tell me your process and how you got on this path. Sure. Yeah, I, I had um, I had the you know fortune of being able to work with some really great people at UNC, especially um, Scott Elton and Carolyn Quincy. You know, relatively early on in our residency process, you get to work with uh, both of those uh, pediatric neurosurgeons, and they're both pretty inspiring people, great educators, and the type of people that you know encourage you to be interested in, in what they're doing. And I think um, you know it's it's hard not to enjoy that rotation. And and later on, I think the bigger challenge was um, you know do I do I enjoy the pediatrics part of neurosurgery because of that intrinsically, or is it because I really like working with um, you know, such great people like Scott Elton and Carolyn Quincy. And, um, you know, for me, I really liked both of those things. They, having mentorship from them has been super important, but also um, I enjoyed those cases and I enjoyed, you know, dealing with that patient population and their families uh, as well. So specifically, how do you feel like your residency training program at UNC helped prepare you for um, your fellowship? I think there's a couple of different things that um, that our residency at UNC does. Um, one of them is, you know, I think to really give you a broad um, a broad exposure to a lot of different types of pathology, a lot of different conditions, and give you the confidence to know that you can, you know, deal with a lot of the, you know, uh, problems and and difficult situations that you'll face. Um, with many different types of patient populations um, in neurosurgery, pediatrics being one of them. Um, and I think it's not necessarily just how many cases that you are involved with. I think a lot of it is, um, you know, teaching you solid thought process, um, you know, problem solving and critical thinking skills when it comes to surgery and, um, and understanding, you know, how to, how to avoid surgery just as much as how to do surgery. Um, and I think our attendings are particularly good educators when it comes to things like that, um, helping you learn to reason through the problems um, in addition to training you to be a good surgeon as well. What advice would you give to a medical student who's interested in pursuing a career in pediatric neurosurgery? You know, the most important thing is trying to get um, as solid of a foundation as you can and in neurosurgical training when, when you're there. And so pediatrics is, um, for most people, a relatively small part of their whole training process, but you know a lot of the solid fundamentals of surgical skills that we learn um, to be a general neurosurgeon you know, are, are certainly applicable to pediatrics uh, in different ways. And so I think you, know, you have to really make the most of your residency training process, but um, certainly if you're interested in pediatrics early on, I think um, being able to get involved with, uh, with research projects that, that involve pediatrics specifically can kind of help you, you know, foster that interest some more, get more exposure to the field. Um, and I think in our program, we have the benefit of uh, protecting our residents that are involved on the PEDS rotation um, such that, you know, as a senior resident, I wasn't trying to uh, steal those cases, you know, from from our junior residents, and so I think um, you know it, you're really able to make the most of of that rotation at UNC and get a lot more out of it um, that way. That was something really uh, special about the way that we ran the um, pediatrics rotation in our program too.